Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age 2. We're gonna go uh, check out one of these DLC things, because I've been largely trying to avoid them until I got a little bit further into the game. Now I'm gonna go and do this one, because, you know, why the hell not? Let's pick a group. I guess that'll do. Note that we can't bring Bethany along. She is... she's appearing on this thing, but she's... Oh wait, we can bring Bethany. Oh, that's right, because Legacy is, um... Winding the time back. You're sort of remembering something that happened already. I'm not gonna bring Bethany along, though, because... You know, she's gone for a reason. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. I have a report you might find interesting. It tells of a chasm in the Vinmark Mountains, and a secret that was said to be buried within. Yet when the Chantry went to investigate, they were turned away by the Grey Wardens. And why would I find that interesting? Because the champion was there. I can't help but notice you failed to mention this adventure. Oh, that? I didn't think you'd be interested. Just some business with Hawk's family. A few carded dwarves who went too far. <sighs> You're not going to believe me. I'll take my chances. All right. Don't say I didn't warn you. There it is. That's where these dwarves are? These are Carta dwarves, so they're more criminals and smugglers than anything else. They're not usually stupid, though. I don't know why they'd attack you. They're bold. They snuck into the Warden Keep at Handsburg to get at me. But they failed, thankfully. They haven't been able to kill me yet, either. You have a plan, then? I found their hideout, but my sources couldn't tell me anything else. It's all very strange. Why do you say that? It's just the Carter, isn't it? As far as my contacts and the Carter know, they shouldn't be here. There shouldn't even be a here. Well, this place is invisible. A big blind spot on the map. Bianca's never been this suspicious, and she's twitchy to start with. Does it matter? We just need them to stop trying to kill us. A fine point. So, what's the plan? Oh, I'm sure this is all a misunderstanding. Later, we'll all have tea and we'll laugh. Oh, your name is Hawk. I thought it was Locke. <laughs> Let's move before we're spotted. At least the Wardens let me come. I can't leave an attack like this unanswered. If you need me, I'll be keeping watch. Same here. Good luck. <laughs> I changed it up to bring Bethany along. I did give her some new equipment before we left, so I kind of, it'd be a shame to um, not have her there. They're from the Merchants Guild. The Carta doesn't kill guild members. That's really strange. Um, I had, I had forgotten something that it wasn't, um, this one, like, tells a story of something that's already happened, but it takes place after Bethany has already been, uh, taken into the Wardens, so she's a great Warden right now. It's really the only reason why I brought her, uh, took her along. Hmm, there's gotta be something over here. Ah, look at that. Cleared out my inventory before I came along, so hopefully I have enough space to pick up the shit that I find. It's the Hawk! Do you hear that? Look! The Carter has people watching us! Uh, of course they do. Can't get up there? Ah, oh, man, just running away. Dwarves, man. The 
time has come. Glory. Listen. It's not creepy at all. You, both sisters, you're here together. You've come. Is he referring to you and me? Everyone, it's the children of Malcolm Hawk. They've come to us. What does my father have to do with this? It began with him and ends with you. Blood for blood, that's what we were told. Did father do something to the Carter? You've come to us now, and that's the only thing that matters. You tell me. How could I refuse such a delightfully worded invitation? We must have the blood. You don't understand. Oh, blood. Why didn't you just ask? We will take it. Corypheus will walk in the sun once more. Oh, and of course this got out of hand. Crazy dwarves. They're surface dwarves. So, uh, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but they are. Yes, let's take a stale biscuit. Somebody's gonna want that. Just gonna make sure that any of these bodies might have something. Nothing up there. Okay, the card is a bunch of thugs and mobsters and stuff, but they seem to be a little weird here. The hell's going? Oh shit, that's not good. Sucked. The dwarves are clearly deranged. The Carter doesn't normally act like this. They're businessmen. I'd like to know who this Corypheus is. <laughs> With a name like that, he's bound to go mwahaha at some point. I just know it. And really? More blood? Why can't it ever be spit? Or a lock of hair? You really want to encounter a spit mage? For variety, sure. <laughs> Spit mage. Uh, I don't think there's anything up here for me. Oh, just another trap. Alright, let's go. I can't do that. Ah, oh, there's gotta be a switch in here. Maybe it's this one up here. Ooh, a treasure chest. There's it's a key. There we go. That should do it. I don't know how far away from the city we are right now. It's gotta be at least as far away as anything else that we've done. Dragon Age 2 stays pretty close to Kirkwell. Well, a fortress. Here in the middle of nowhere. Hmm, probably filled with crazy dwarves. Trap. All set. Oh, there they are. Oh, he's running away. Ah, here we go. Out. 
It's a lot of Carter Dwarves. These enemies are kind of powerful defensive-wise. I mean, they're taking a lot of hits before they go down, but I haven't really seen anything that puts up enough of an offense to to really put me in danger like I did over in um, when I was in the Deep Roads. So it just takes a little bit of patience. That's why I'm cutting the camera, too, so you don't have to watch me just hack at things. Not worth changing out. Just didn't think. I wasn't really looking. Haha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely weaker. I thought after Lothering you'd avoid Dark Spawn. But you seem to keep coming down. <laughs> Damn, these things are everywhere. Eh, I got a new shield for Aveline there. Oh, shit. That just worked out so well. <laughs> they were all standing there just waiting for the trap to go off. Jackasses. Not going to happen. Ah, it's gotta be a key. Probably in here. Or not. There's another section over here I wasn't noticing. Oh, can't go down that way, even though it looks like there are stairs. Nope, can't go through that door. Why? Because video games. I'm surprised you agreed to come, Varric. You hate being underground. And you avoid the Carter the same way you do the match of you. There's no way I'd miss watching you make these motherless love lickers cry. Tell us the time about underground. We're not underground. Okay, there's the key. Alright, yeah, we got the key. Found some extra crap. Ah, here we go. Jumps. Well, whatever. We have what we need. This is nasty looking. Oh, and no better inside. Should I be going this way?
Ah, so they're after Bethany. I've seen a lot, but a dwarf blood mage? Not likely. And what does this have to do with father? Carter should want gold, not blood. This is something different. Well, it's not a dwarven blood mages mage, because dwarves can't be mages. Blood mages are not. About our escape from Lothar. Why do you make it sound like I had food all over my face? You're larger than life, Hawk. I had to give you a few flaws just to make you approachable. Did you just call me fat? Yes, that's pretty much how I tell it. Hawk rolled into the fray like a gigantic pudding covered in gravy. It's more dramatic that way. Does it have to be gravy? Couldn't it be chocolate instead? Ah, everyone's a critic. I've just got to say, I hope this is less uh, exciting than our last trip to the Deep Roads. Hey, no, we're going to the Deep Roads. We're not Did in you know the... anything about this car to Varric? Not my crowd. Unsubtle. Kind of fuzzy in their business plan, uh, I assume. You keep secrets and people die. You keep kicking random beehives and you'll get stung. What's that supposed to mean? No keeper, no bees, no honey. I like honey. Damn it, dwarf. <laughs> A lot of talk about this Corypheus fellow. Uh, the dwarves, uh, it's obviously can't be a dwarf because, um, dwarves can't be mages. And, and it's obviously gotta be a powerful foe because, uh, you know, seems like they're all, like, sort of almost religiously following this person. So you gotta be careful here. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. And... Probably through some sort of screw up in the game, we're having comments about going into the deep roads, even though we haven't even seen the deep roads yet. How would they know it's there? Huh. Get out of the way! Ah, uh, there's a. Uh, there's gotta be something down there. Alright, tell me. How does it end? Beg your pardon? That guard story of yours, the... The one with the guardsman who falls in love with a Templar Knight captain. Oh, a romance. Swords and shields. I just started that serial. It's got ten chapters to go. Well, yes, but you know how it ends. Just tell me. I've got an idea, but the story... The story will go where it wants to go. The characters drive it, not me. You're the author. That makes no sense at all. A good story you don't really write. It was always there. You just uncover it. Can you hear that? Drum beats. I don't hear it. Where did the Malcolm Hawk's blood for? Are you tuned to father's blood? Who thinks we'd believe that? I mean, it's ridiculous, right? If this has to do with your father, we'd better get our hands on this key. Well, they need this blood for some sort of blood magic, but I don't know why the hell it has to be... Uh, their father, and by the hawk's blood, the master will rise. He will be free. Garav, Beric, no, no one told me you would be part of this. We were just going after the hawk. Why has the Carter been attacking me? I can't say. The master must be free. Really, Garav? I thought better of you than this. I mean, gutting the occasional competitor for fun and profit, that's the game. But what are you all even doing here? Worshipping demons? We drink the Darkspawn blood. He calls us. Why would you do that? Won't you just die? 
It's the only way to hear the music. Oh, come on, you nug licker. Snap out of it. There's no gold in hallucinating. Why has the Carter been attacking me? I can't say. The Master must be free. Really good. I mean, gutting the. We drink the Darkspawn blood. He calls us. Manners, Varric? Introduce me to your lunatic friend. Hawk, this is Garav. He's a greedy, brilliant bastard son of a nug from the Carter. Garav, this is Hawk. The one whose blood you want to drink or bathe in or whatever. But I got to warn you, you catch diseases that way. The Master is calling. He needs the blood. Garav, buddy, this isn't like you. Look, I've still got Bianca. Never misfired a day in her life. You don't want her to see her papa like this, do you? Varric, you want to spare this bastard? Not if he's after you, Hawk. Bianca, I think it's time to say goodbye. Reinforcements, you bastard. Wasn't that some shit? <laughs> he all dark spawned his ass back there. Now we see they've been drinking Darkspawn blood, and that is a quick way to get yourself into trouble. So, you know, what the hell's going on here? to do business with the Carter back in the day. Garav was a nutcase then too, but in a good way. He was trying to design a new type of repeating crossbow. Bianca was the only one that ever worked. I can't believe he ended up like that. 